All right, I'm back. Today we're using Soap Commander. This is a limited edition called Zeal. It is a three ounce instead of their normal six ounce. And it comes to us for $12. It has the scent notes right on the front there. Blackberry, Cedar, and Sage. And on their website, it really is that simple. They say sweet, ripened blackberries um woody cedar and then that bright sage um this is a great kind of spring and summer type scent it's very bright and vibrant i think the the blackberry comes off a little bit tart and sweet um so it's a very very prominent blackberry note i think the cedar is more of a heart note um it kind of takes the background it's not as prominent and then the sage, I feel, is just kind of a flourish right on top of the blackberry. Also not prominent, but just barely there. A really beautiful, simplistic type scent. Uh, there's a look at the soap base. You can see it's very brilliant white. Uh, when I hold it lower and <laughs> it's not so shiny, you can kind of see where I scooped it. With a fair amount of pressure, you can put a dent into it, but... Um, you have to put a lot of pressure. It's quite firm. Um, still pliable, but quite, quite firm. Um, let's take a look at some ingredients right there. A fairly simplistic soap base. You can also see, you know, where it's made in the website. Um, but fairly simplistic. Stearic acid, distilled water, shea butter, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, sodium hydroxide, castor oil and fragrance and then on the other side we got some directions for use which i did not follow but um it's always nice to see some information regarding how to use a product i do not have a shave ridge for today i'm shooting this right before bed and i didn't want to drink before bed so that is that we got the lather already whipped up right here in my badass Lancaster Razorworks shave bowl. You can see it is quite shiny. Um, there's a good look at my bowl right there. I absolutely love that bowl. It is a staple of my daily shaves. Right here we got my That Darn Rob shaving brush. Uh, that Darn Rob is now called Chisel and Hound. But it's got this purple dyed burl on the bottom with a uh, black resin topper and a Fanchurian badger knot, which I have no ver no idea which version or batch it is. But I bought this years ago, so it's probably like V5 or below. Um, it's an older one. That is that for the lather. And then today we're going to be using uh, my good friend Brian from Bearded and Winning on Instagram. We're gonna be using his Schick Injector Type J, and it has this nice white or off-white cream-colored handle, um, plastic handle, uh, metal head, and this Schick Injector has a fresh, um, I got these at Supply, so they're, they're Supply white label blades right there. Um, <clears throat> so a fresh supply white blade in it. Let's go ahead and wet the face and get right into it. Today I'm going to be using, um, hot water, warm water. Normally I do a, uh, cold water shave, but I'm not always shaving right directly before bed. So I wanted this to be a little bit more on the soothing side so i figured i'd go with warm water i just got out of the shower and that warm water feels real nice on my skin <clears throat> let's go ahead and grab some lather here very nice looking lather indeed i haven't used soap commander in quite a while so i'm looking forward to this I mean, it might have, it might be over a year since the last time I used Soap Commander. I honestly can't tell you. Um, but I don't know what the hell set me off. I don't know if it was just a random email 
that I opened or if I saw an Instagram or Facebook post as I was scrolling through. I don't know what caught my eye, but I saw the Blackberry Note. And if you've been a longtime viewer of my channel, you might know that I am a sucker for berry notes. I absolutely love blackberry, blueberry, strawberry, <laughs> raspberry, you name it. And so I saw the blackberry, cedar, and sage, and I said, man, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it's been a while since I bought a soap commander, so I investigated and I saw that um, it was a three ounce puck rather than their standard six ounce jars and so I thought man <laughs> if you've been a long time viewer of my channel you might know that I am a huge proponent for getting smaller tubs smaller pucks into the uh, regular offerings of our artisans I would love two and three ounce options from every single artisan in the game that would be ideal for me and so I thought a three ounce instead of a fucking six ounce from Soap Commander, I'm in. Uh, and that's pretty much all it took. $12 is super digestible. I mean, you could just, that $12 is not going to slow me down. I mean, everybody has their own budget, so I'm talking, speaking for myself. But $12 is not going to slow me down. And three ounces is just perfect. I don't need any more soap at this point. <laughs> At this point, I have enough soap for me and everyone on my block, and we could probably go for a decade combined. Like, I got a shit ton of soap. So, smaller tubs, cheaper prices. One thing I didn't look into, which I probably should have, was uh, whether or not Soap Commander scaled proportionately or if the smaller tubs cost more per ounce than the larger tubs. That's always something that kind of irks me as a consumer is when it doesn't scale proportionately and then it double irks me when the artisan tries to make their case why smaller tubs should cost more than larger tubs. And I don't care. <laughs> I've heard it all, probably, at this point. But I think it's complete fucking bollocks. <laughs> I think it's bullshit. Because you can't tell me that a small tub... And I'm just talking about packaging and raw supplies. A large tub, which takes, you know, more raw material to produce than <clears throat> a small tub. You can't tell me that the large one costs less than the small one. Because it used more material to make it, so the large one definitely costs more than the small one. Now... If you're making 50 large soap tubs and you're making 50 small soap tubs, when it comes to batch size, that might be a wash. You know what I mean? If you have the equipment to make a 50 large tub batch, then you obviously have the ability to make a 50 small tub batch. And the actual cook time and building the soap time is, you know, more likely than not equivalent. And pouring them into the, the uh, packaging once the soap has been made it is probably equivalent, you know, large tubs, small tubs. Pour time is probably equivalent, so there's no loss in production there. And less soap 
takes less ingredients, you know, in bulk to make. So it, there's just, there's no way that you can make me understand that more product costs less than less product. There's just no, there's just no way to make me understand it. And I know some people who really throw their cape on and um, put their zealot cap on, <laughs> which is a, a fortuitous use of the word zeal. <laughs> um, but they'll throw their zealot cap on and try to uh, cape for the artisans that they love so much, trying to make excuses for the uh, price increase. And they just kind of turn a blind eye and turn the other cheek and thank you artisan can I have another price hike you know like that kind of shit it's just not cool and it, it's not cool you're not slick I see that shit and I call that shit out there's no way that a large tub should cost less per ounce than a small tub no way <clears throat> you won't change my mind on that one Alright, sorry about the the massive sidetrack there, but um, first pass went good. The, uh, the shave went smooth as expected. This is my first go with this uh, particular Schick injector. As I said, um, I am borrowing this from my buddy Brian at Bearded and Winning on Instagram. Real good dude. Obviously, he is a bearded fellow in our wet shaving community, so much love and support to my bearded wet shavers out there, and everyone else as well. But, um, it, you know, he has, he's a head shaver, and he hasn't been having the uh, best experience with this particular razor. And, um, you know, he told me about it, and I said, well, man, you know, it's a really good shaver for me. I don't know if maybe like your angle's a little bit off. You know, you're you're a head shaver. You know, I'm not. I I can't really can't really imagine what could possibly be going wrong. You know, um, some people load the blade, um, and it comes in sometimes a little bit low, and it'll actually scrape across the little blade stops. You can see it has one on either end. So when you're loading it. Pay close attention to make sure that the blade isn't dragging across the blade stop. Make sure that it's hovering above the blade stop as it goes in. That's one thing as well to kind of keep, um, be aware of. But, um, yeah, so he wasn't having the best experience with it and he, uh, He offered to let me borrow it and you know I told him I already have a type J so I know what the shaving experience is like and um, you know he was kind of adamant for me to to uh, borrow the damn thing just in case there was something wonky about it that I could um, see that you know, might be, might be, uh, hidden to him, you know, and so far, like, I got it, and the visual appearance looks fine, um, I've had a shick in the past where I bought it off eBay, and the, the top on this side was kind of more open than the top on the other side, and I think it was because somebody left um, the key, left the key inside of the razor and just left it sitting on the counter for an extended period of time. And the end result was that the, uh, the head kind of formed like that and kind of stayed that way since it was left that way for an extended period of time. And so that was... That was a bit unfortunate. The shave is still fine, more or less, but, um, you know, I do wonder if it's getting kind of uneven pressure up against that blade stop 
and I don't perceive anything but I do kind of wonder if there's like a little bit of wiggle as I as I uh, go through the shave But this one here, I didn't really perceive anything off or askew visually. Everything looked to be in order, looked good. Try to get that little swirl that I have right on the Adam's apple. Get this little across the grain. That was two days growth, two days up, two days down. That was a, uh, what I would call a flawless victory with a razor that I've never used before, but I am very familiar with Schick injectors and um, I absolutely love Schick injectors. They're my favorite format to shave with in olive shaving. So that went flawlessly. It, it felt great, smooth and efficient. Feels like BBS to me. Yeah, hell yeah. Could do a little bit better in the uh, residual slickness department. There's some, there, it's there, but I've definitely felt better. As far as the, um, the shave goes though, the proof is in the pudding. The lather, Definitely did its job. I think I had it just a little bit washed out. I might have added, you know, one or two additions of water that might not have been necessary. So it was a little bit thinned out, but um, regardless, it had all the slickness I needed for a good shave. Um, it just didn't have that luxurious density that I would have um, liked it to have. But that's just... That just adds to the experience. It's definitely not a necessity when it comes to um, the quality of the shave. It just adds to the experience, not to the performance. So all in all, we had a flawless shave. I am feeling very smooth and BBS, and uh, that is what we want. I really enjoyed the scent. It's kind of a simplistic, um, I call them, I call them candle-like scents because, you know, a lot of candle scents are one note or two or three notes tops. They're pretty, they're pretty simplistic unless you're buying like some um, niche specialty brand, but the stuff that you just find like at the big box stores, they're pretty, they're pretty simplistic candle scents. And so whenever I see soaps like this that are like one note, two or three note, scents. I just call them candle scents because candles are almost always pleasant, but they're just not that complex. So this one falls under that category. It's pleasant, but not complex. Really enjoyable though. That blackberry note is beautiful. All right. I will get the rest of this lather off cam I did not get a matching aftershave um, nor did I try to find a complimentary aftershave in my collection instead I'm gonna be going with Sterling Soap Company's unscented witch hazel and aloe and this one actually has uh, menthol in it a, uh, a low low amount of menthol so it just has just enough cooling to leave you feeling refreshed and so you can see it's a very simple ingredients list on the back there. Witch hazel, aloe, distilled water, polysorbate, and menthol. Shake well before use, which I will do now. Has a nice little pop top. The uh, restrictor is not very restric restrictive. It's quite large, so um, just be wary of how much you let out. You can, you know, you can restrict it by just being gentle while pouring it over. Oh yeah. 
and that feels great. I think it has just enough aloe in it to go on kind of silky. And then besides that, it dries in really quickly and just a real low level menthol chill, which kind of leaves you feeling um, invigorated, which might not be might not be the goal right before bed to feel invigorated, unless maybe you were on your way to go get some. <laughs> this smells more of menthol than it does of witch hazel, um, which may be a plus or a minus for some of you guys. I don't know. But that'll do it for today's shave. It was a damn fine one indeed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.